So over the last five years, my business partners and I, we've, we've just been in this pursuit of seeking different ways to make ourselves uncomfortable. And some of those have been business related, some of those have been personal, the, the cold showers, the you know, ice baths, the different things. Some of them are physical uh, with you know, exercise and, and things like that. But constantly searching for ways to get us out of our comfort zone. The one thing that I that I seem that I see as as the most congruent, I think, outcome of those things is mental toughness. And right now is the perfect time to talk about it with all the stuff that's going on in the world. I think especially when life is delivering you discomfort, is when there's something extremely interesting and special about seeking it out yourself. Like when you just lost your job, and you know your parent is sick because of COVID all these things are happening to you and they're out of your control. Well, if you actually seek something uncomfortable that's 100% in your control, to me there's just something very different about that. A lot of what people try to do is they try to control the things that they can't control. Right. And that's where the frustration, that's where the depression, that's where the anxiety, because yeah. they're so focused on the things that are out of their control, instead of just focusing on like, what can I do today? <laughs> right to get better. But if you seek pain, the world will deliver you pleasure. But if you seek pleasure, and if you seek comfort, the world will deliver you pain. And this is a moment of pain for me, to be completely honest and transparent with you guys. But by, but by pursuing it, and by embracing it, and by seeing this moment of pain as an opportunity, I promise you the world will deliver me pleasure. The world will deliver me comfort. And the world, uh, it's just, it's just the way the world works. Um, and I want more people to realize that. I want more people to know that when they're going through a storm, that it is in that storm that they will become a better person, a bigger person. Number one, it's going to prepare you for when life delivers you more discomfort because it, it, it just becomes this this state of being that like I'm doing hard things, I'm going through difficult things. When hard, difficult things come at me, it's not that big a deal anymore. If someone's in it, like they're in the mess right now, they're stuck. Yep. For them to just know, hey, I've read a hundred books about people that they were stuck too, and they just worked hard. And it was because of the situation that had them stuck that propelled them into this situation yeah. that they had this great right. success. But it's like that that disconnect of, Oh yeah, I've read a hundred books about that. Maybe, maybe I, should I should do it. Maybe I should just like it's. But when you're in it, when you're in that mess, it's like how to get someone to understand it. Really, that's in it, you mm -hmm. know, because it's easy. I mean, obviously, it's easier in hindsight, um, but it's so much encouragement to be able to tell someone and for them to actually grasp that notion of. Hey, what you're going through right now sucks. I'm not saying it doesn't, but do you realize because of what you're going through right now, it is going to be equal, if not greater, the success that you're going to have in the future if you handle this right right now. That's the purpose of the pain is to prepare you for the future pain. And you know, you've been on a big David Goggins kick lately. I think the world's been on a big David Goggins kick lately. Like he talks about callousing, like callousing your mind. That's what calluses are for. It's for when pain comes later on. And to me, like, it's something I'm so passionate about is helping people understand that there's a reason for the struggle that you're going through, that there's a purpose in the pain that you're in right now, and that you may not realize until hindsight, but there will be a reason. It may be a month from now, maybe a year from now, maybe 10 years from now, but there will be a moment when you go, oh, man, now I get it. Now I know I went through that. It's, it's so that I can get through this. And so to me, every struggle, every obstacle, every pain that I've ever been through has enabled me to get through what was coming next. And it almost makes me excited to go through it at this point. And I know that sucks for someone that's in it right now, because you're either in it, coming out of it, or headed towards it. And if you're in it right now, you're like, screw you, I'm in it. Like, that doesn't make me feel any better. Like, I'm not in hindsight yet. But to just know that there's a blessing on the other side of every pain. But ultimately, you have to become the person that can receive it. And that's the whole purpose of pain. Like doing those ultra marathons, 
you know, if, if I go like I ran four and a half miles yesterday, like it wasn't really that difficult in comparison to the 60 something miles I ran in seven days um, a while back. So like it, anything that I can pursue that's gonna put me way outside my comfort zone, that's gonna be painful, uncomfortable, then when life delivers things that are uncomfortable, it's like, eh, it's not that bad. You know, it's like I've, I've chased after things myself that were more difficult than this. So this isn't gonna like knock me down. Um, that being said, like, I think there's an element of embracing the discomfort that life delivers, it delivers to you. And if you can look at it through this lens of like, what can I learn from this and how can I respond to this? Uh, in a way that is going to make me better, then I think that there's a lot of similarities to the discomfort that just naturally happens. Struggle is a privilege. Pain is a privilege. Difficulty, storms, I promise you in hindsight, you will see them as a privilege. It sucks when you're going through it, but man, is it sweet on the other side. It all boils down to your perspective. So whether you're seeking it intentionally or whether you're or whether it's happening to you but then you're thinking of it you're thinking about what's happening to you intentionally as like okay this has happened i can choose to let this knock me down or i can choose to let this be something that i'm actively pursuing getting past getting through getting over um that's a very similar process um it doesn't make it any easier it just makes the outcome i think that much more impactful it's like the difference between surviving something and thriving through. Like something happens to you, you can choose to just like, oh, how do I survive this? Or something happens to you and you're like, man, this sucks. But what if I look at this as an opportunity to grow? And I look at this as an opportunity to get better. That way, six months from now, when something else is delivered to me, then I'm gonna be able to handle it so much easier, so much better, uh, and not let it affect me or knock me down, at least not as long.